We had a little visitor on board. If I hold it like this, it's gonna look like a blue marlin. And uh, we just came to Martinique Ooh. and we this huge fish. Mama. Mama. We spent about six weeks in total in Martinique and a lot of that time was spent on boat projects. We have split this episode into two, so this one will be all about the boat work and the next one will be all about the good times. Are you really working, Chris? Google is amazing when you need to work. Yeah. <laughs> Google is your friend. Oh, yes. Uh, it's quite crammed in there, so we'll have to switch over to the little guy. Hello again. So this is where she lives. So we have the diesel tank down there. And then the fuel line runs up to the pre-filter. And then from the pre-filter into the pump, engine filter, and then to the um, high pressure units, high pressure pump. One of the biggest issues we've had has been water making its way into the diesel. We were determined to fix this once and for all. So the plan was to first take a sample of the diesel and get most of the water out. We would then get help from a mechanic to help clean the remaining diesel and try to find the source of the water. So we found uh, this in a used parts store. The fitting is exactly the same as this one. And we've been having problems with this screw. That's the one that caused us to stall in, uh, in Kalmar. So now we're gonna replace it and then change the filters and everything. But just the aluminum housing is what we're after in there. So we have a guy coming by today, to this morning, to clean the clean our diesel tank, or clean the diesel. He's gonna pump out all the diesel out, run it through some filters, and then put it back in the tank again. So hopefully that will get rid of some of the stuff that's been growing in there. We've been prepping all morning, Steffi and Leo left just after breakfast, so now we don't have any stairs. Oh, you have a... Uh, a lot of water. A lot, a lot, a lot. You see? Oh, it's water. Yeah, yeah this is only not water. A... Jesus. I think so if we, if we run like this... Yeah. Uh, this filter... Yeah. It's uh, 25 euro per filter. Okay. And we will use uh, quite many of okay. these filters. So the guys were here and uh, they started cleaning the diesel and uh, turns out there was uh, too much water in the diesel so they suggested just uh, emptying the whole thing out and uh, putting in some clean diesel and then using that to clean the tank and then just discard the diesel we had. So I'll probably lose about 150 liters of diesel now but at least we will hopefully not have this problem again. Fingers crossed. The diesel problems were super frustrating. We got some great advice and we haven't actually had any problems since. We are still experimenting and we haven't come to any final conclusions. It was also time to do a rig inspection after the Atlantic crossing and what we found was that some of the attachment plates for the lower shrouds had cracked. The parts were old but according to Seldean it still shouldn't happen. It was probably due to the rig having been a fraction too loose and therefore vibrating and causing the material to weaken. 
This is why we do routine maintenance. Here, a little, little crack. Just going straight along here. You can see it right from the side here. There. So that means this part is cracked. And uh, it's a good catch. It's a lot easier to fix now than when the stuff actually breaks because it usually just breaks when you when you need it the most. It's really nice to find, even though it's a bit worrying that it's broken. What are you doing, Chris? I'm having a look at the raw water pump that I had out yesterday. Uh, when I was test running the engine, we saw that it was uh, leaking a bit of water. So we're having a look at that and seeing uh, por qué. Miss. Pack. Pack. And a little helper here is uh, helping out. Do it yourself. And it's very, very explicit. So you can see that step. Knock out the... I just got some help rebuilding the pump and I managed to get the spare parts because I broke uh, one seal too many when I was taking it apart but I uh, I found the spares so that was good so we should have everything we need to rebuild it how long? So what do you think of today, Chris? Today has been an exciting day. The boat works continue. We just realized that one of the batteries in the battery bank was getting uh, a lot hotter than the rest of them. We haven't really been experiencing any problems with the battery bank, but it feels wrong that one of them gets really, really, really hot. So we'll look into it. I'm getting the measurements now uh, and uh, we'll see if we can get a new one or if they think it's broken. They'll probably think it's broken. Everything just breaks. Everything just breaks. Boat work. Never ending. Long distance cruising is boat work in exotic places. We had run out of patience and had to wait for parts. So we went out to anchor in Sanktan, but we will tell you all about that in the next episode. That didn't work. Nope. Re-anchor. Re-anchor. We are dragging. 